Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead Welcome back to the channel. As you can see here in Northern BC, it is time to put on those summer tires or all seasons. Uh, so of course I believe in child labor. No, just kidding. This is my son helping me swap out the tires on our F-150 gasoline vehicle. And of course it was time to look at the brakes. This was last fall. We swapped out the rotors and the pads. There you can see they're basically worn down to just about nothing. And uh, so after doing the brakes on the uh, gasoline vehicles last year, I was starting to take a look at the condition of brakes on my Tesla Model 3, my 2020. This is a current picture right here. You can see the rotors a bit more kind of rusting up. Uh, this little video clip is from earlier, a few years ago, just kind of showing uh, the condition of right around the wheel well. But anyway, bottom line is uh, for Teslas, I have seen a number of reports that it's pretty important to do some brake maintenance and basically you kind of pull apart, uh, you pull the pads out and you clean up any corrosion on on the uh, parts of the pads that slide. You take out the retaining pins and the hardware and just clean up any corrosion. And uh, in the end I ended up having some issues. Uh, this was four years after taking possession of this vehicle and uh, that's what this video is going to talk about. The maintenance that you should probably do and by the way, in the part of British Columbia, Canada that I live, they don't use salt on the roads here because it gets too cold for that, but they do use calcium. So probably wherever you're located, they're going to use something that's going to be creating some kind of corrosion, and that's what I faced. So let's get into that. So as you can see here, the brake pads still have quite a bit of material left. Um, that, from that point of view, we all know that electric vehicles don't use the brakes near as much as they do in gasoline vehicles so the pads are pretty good condition both the front and the rear and you can see on the rear uh, they are smaller pads and the calipers are smaller but the same principle applies all right let's talk brake maintenance so you can see here in the parts diagrams here um, I'm looking at the front spring kit uh, there's a kit for the front there's a kit for the back and uh, here in the front, there's a few things you need to do. You take out those retaining pins, uh, one for the top of the pads, one for the bottom. And uh, I bought this kit from Tesla. The brand that makes these brakes is Brembo, which is also used for Mercedes, BMW, cars like that, performance cars. And uh, so I ended up uh, trying to knock those out, the pins out, so I could do some maintenance, put some lube on there and just clear off any corrosion and you'll see what ended up happening and why it's important to do maintenance on your brakes. Tesla maintenance, so I'm doing my seasonal tire swap winters to summers and I wanted to do some brake service. It's been four years and I went to take out these two pins and the bottom one came out but the top one, as you can see, it's just seized in on the back here. And as I was tapping it in here, I noticed eventually it bent here in the middle. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be able to just punch it out. Millions of videos online, that's how you do it. So this is C, so it's corroded in there, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to take my Dremel tool. I already cut here. I'm going to cut right flush here carefully and then try to punch the rest of it out with a punch tool. Okay so from these pictures you can clearly see that top pin uh, I did end up cutting out portions of that pin just because it was completely bent there was no movement in the back there you can see the back part of the pin that's still stuck really hard to deal with uh, this was the bottom pin that I was able to easily knock out it's what it should look like on the top and that's the retaining hardware that the pin uh, goes through the top and the bottom and uh, use some sandpaper to clean up the corrosion off the pin. But in the end, I just ended up using a new kit. In the meantime, I also noticed you could use like a screwdriver head as a replacement part, but of course it's not recommended. It's not uh, probably the same strength, but in a pinch you could use something like that temporarily, but uh, make sure you make contact uh, right through those holes and that it's able to slide. Uh, anyways, uh, let's 
uh, take and, and in the back there you can see I had to remove the caliper in order to get it off I uh, took that bolt off the caliper yeah, so cool. that I could uh, uh, remove the entire caliper off bring it to a friend's house we ended up heating that caliper with a torch uh, trying to use punch tools to punch it out the heat and beat mechanism that a lot of mechanics use it did not work I used acetone with ATF fluid in a 50-50, 50% of each mix. Uh, let that soak for a good hour on both ends of that and just nothing would work. In the end, we ended up drilling out uh, from the backside that pin in order to uh, basically recover from the situation. All right guys, so just to wrap this up, Tesla Model 3 brakes. So this is caliper, this is a caliper pin. And uh, I got a set of two of these and uh, if I get it really close you can see on this end here it's much thicker than it is on the tip and what, I, what ended up happening was uh, from the tip you use a punch tool and you kind of tap it out so it comes out of the caliper that way um, well this back part was completely seized and what I ended up doing was um, as I was tapping it here in the middle where my fingers are touching it completely bent so like a little bow like that and uh, at that point <coughs> this pin would not come out so I had to cut it kind of right back here and the rest of this part here was in the back part of the caliper where all the solid material is um, and so we tried heating it up we tried tapping it out and it just would not come out so in the end we just had to use a drill bit and drill it in from the back side and uh, that's what we repaired it so that just explains it and the way this works is these pins go through this hardware which holds the brake pads in more or less like that and so as I was tapping that out again this back chunk here would not come unseized and uh, we even used a torch to heat it up before tapping it all the tricks we used acetone and ATF 50-50 mix let that soak for a good hour did not help at all so just be aware that if you let your brakes not be serviced I haven't done a brake service for four years I don't know if this was a flaw or what but the top pin would not come out the bottom pin came out okay um, but not the top pin.